Congressman Brian Stiles stopped here at the Kenosha County Center for a listening tour. I can tell you around 50 folks showed up for this event and those topics talked about range from our border wall to the government shutdown. How are you guys doing? Thanks for coming out. I have two questions. One is regarding the Coast Guard in the event that we get another shutdown. And so to my knowledge, that's the first time ever in American history that a branch of the United States military did not receive a paycheck from the federal government. That's offensive. Style also shared that during the shutdown, he pushed for elected officials to stay in Washington, D.C. on the weekends to try to tackle a solution. Other neighbors, like Carol Spencer from Twin Lakes, agreed with the congressman. I really want to encourage both sides of the aisle to stop their harassment of each other. Another topic, border security. And saying, what is the mechanism that will help us address some of the illegal immigration that's coming in? The wall is not a silver bullet, one-stop shop that will solve all of the world's problems. They have to do something, and if that requires a wall, then put it up. Other topics I included. have some questions on uh, health insurance. To make it more affordable and more accessible, Style shared how this topic hits close to home with his 101-year-old grandma. She needs her Social Security, she needs her Medicare, and she needs her, her pension uh, from Riggs. And so those three pieces of the stool uh, are what keep my, uh, my grandma uh, secure. And so it's front of mind to me that we maintain and protect Social Security and Medicare. And several people thank Style for his dedication just days into his new job. Thank you for doing this and thank you for answering letters already. And the more people reach out and we continue this dialogue, uh, the better I am uh, able to do my job in Washington. In Kenosha County, Allison Brunner, Spectrum News 1.